Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Winning. I'm good, and you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. How was your day? Mm, really tired. I have a lot of work. Oh, really? You work a lot? Yeah. Too? Wow. But you are at home. That's a good thing. Yes. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yay, yay. Great. Frida, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Great, great, great. Let's see, let's see who else is here. Hello, Carlos. Hey, I like your photo. It's really nice. Yay, you are at the beach. Yes, uh, bueno, ahí se llama Corral de Mulas. It's not here? It's here in El Salvador? Yes, uh, adelante de Puerto El Tú. Really? Good. It looks nice. It looks really nice. Yeah. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another class. Hello. Hello, Stephanie. Okay, let me share my screen right now to show you what we have for today. Let me show you. Okay, so welcome to the class number two. The agenda for today is this. We're going to have a quick review of what we did yesterday. It was about activities related to the job, right? Today we're going to study some email vocabulary, some expressions that we use when we send an email, when we receive an email. We're going to practice. Okay, that vocabulary that we study. We're going to watch some videos related to emails expression, email expressions and vocabulary. We're going to have a writing activity too. Uh, if you check your emails, you will see that I share a document with you. I share a document of Google Classroom, Google, uh, Google Docs, sorry, Google Drive. Uh, we are going to have a review of Simple Present and then we are going to work in groups. That is what we have for today. So yesterday, we studied some words or some activities that we do at work. So look at this one, the first one, the first activity right here. What is the verb, guys? What is the verb that we have over here? Look, look, look at this word, look at these letters. The letters are in disorder. What is the correct letter? Look, we have different words right here. So what you have to do is guess what the word is. Guess the action. Number one, look at this one. What is the word? What is it? Hello, hello? Hello, guys, can you hear? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Sorry, my connection is not good right now. Sorry, sorry. Wait. Give me a second. Okay, I was showing the screen, right? Okay, so I was asking you guys, I was asking you about the first word. What is the word number one? What is it? Over here. Special. A, the word is? Schedule. Very good. Schedule, that's right. What about this one right here, number two over here? What is the word? Maintain. Maintain, correct. Good, good. Look at this one, number three. What is the word? What do you think? Evaluate. Exactly. Evaluate. That's right. 
Number four, look at this one. Prepare. Prepare. Prepare, very good. Yes, yes, yes. Prepare a report, right? What about this one right here, number five? Organize. 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 That's right. Good, good. And the last one, number six. Responsibilities. Exactly. Responsibilities. Abilities. That's right. So these are some of the verbs that we studied yesterday. And we can use these verbs to talk about our responsibilities at work, our activities at work. And yeah, I have to schedule the different meetings in the week. Can you give me an example, a complete sentence using evaluate? Can you give me a complete example using this word, evaluate? You can evaluate is a project, is a, a, a Bible. A, 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 available? Yes, that's. If you can evaluate if, if a project is available? Yes. Okay, great. Great example using evaluate. Good, good. What about organize? Give me an example using organize. Organize. Let's see, let's see. I can... Okay. Organize your house? I can I organize... Yes, Fran, sorry. I, I, I organize a meeting for the afternoon. Yay, you organize meetings for the afternoon. Okay, great, great, great. So you can use these verbs to talk about activities at work, right? This is what we did yesterday. We talk about these activities that we can do at work. You share your activities with a partner. Today, we are going to practice this vocabulary too. Right now, we're going to study some vocabulary about emails, okay? Email vocabulary. So we're going to watch a video and you're going to answer some questions based on the video. So look, look, look. We have two questions right here. Question number one, can you help me, Jamie, to read these questions? Please. Okay. What is something that the girl need, needs to do better? Question number one. And number two? Do her college, college? college help her solve college help her solve the problem? Okay, thank you very much. Colleagues. Colleagues. Yeah, thank you. So we're going to watch a video in this moment and you have to focus on this. What is the problem? Watch the video and identify the problem. What's happening? And then you have to answer the next question that is, do her colleagues help her to solve the problem? She's having an issue, she's having a problem at work and then her partners are going, um, you have to tell me if, the, if her partners are going to help her or not. So let's watch the video and answer these questions. Just give me a moment, please. This one. Wait, wait, give me a second. My connection is bad, it's bad right now. I don't know why. Wait, give me a second. Okay. Hello. Anna's just arrived at her desk to start the day at Tip Top Trading. Paul's walking towards her, eating a biscuit. He looks a bit bothered. Anna? Yes, Paul? Come and have a biscuit in my office.
Now, Anna, about Mr Lyme. I didn't say yes. Pardon? Yes to what? Oh, nothing. You sent him an email yesterday and copied me in. Yes. Your email reads, boxes OK, PLS, CDU, C firm, T300 tar. Yes. Please could you confirm you want 300? Right. Now, that's not really the best way of writing an email to a client, is it? Oh. Please could you resend your message to Mr Lyme using actual words that make sense? OK. Thank you. Now, here, have a chocolate crunchy. Thanks. Morning, Anna. Hello. Let me guess. Paul just spoke to you about your email. How do you know? You copied me in, remember? I just read it, or tried to. But what's the problem? Other people write like that. No. Maybe some people write text messages like that in an SMS message on their phones, but that is completely the wrong style for an email to a client. OK, Anna, let's stop listening to Tom. He's a waste of space. These are the kinds of phrases you need in a business-related email. Dear Mr Lime, I hope you're well. I'm writing regarding... Please could you confirm... Yours sincerely, or best wishes. Thank you. I'll rewrite my message. There. I'd better get it checked before I send. Denise? Yes. The other problem with Stephanie is that her legs are just too long. Oh, she's on the phone. Yes, like trees. I'll have to ask Tom. Tom? Hmm? Could you read this through before I send it? Uh, hang on, Anna. Just let me finish this sentence. It's really important. Right, I'm ready. Let's have a look. OK. Dear Mr Lyme, I hope you are well. I'm writing regarding your request for luxury boxes for the Imperial Lemon Delivery. We will indeed be able to supply them. Please could you confirm that you want 300. Best wishes, Anna. Well? It's good. It's much better. Send it. Hopefully Mr Lyme will think your last message was just someone sitting on your keyboard by mistake. Thanks. Uh, you're not... What? Well, it's nothing. No, it's none of my business. What? Well, you're, you're not ever going to go to lunch with Mr Lyme, are you, Anna? I mean, in a non-business way. No, of course not. I, I mean, it's... I don't care. Uh, it's just important to stay professional. Yes. Mm, well, I had a feeling Anna's email was going to cause problems, but at least she won't make a mistake like that again. Here's a reminder of the phrases she used in her new improved email. Dear Mr Lime, I hope you are well. I am writing regarding... Please could you confirm... Best wishes. Until next time, bye! OK, OK, so... The question, look at the questions that I have. What is something that the girl needs to do better, according to the video? Or what is the problem? Tell me, tell me. What was the problem here? He no write complete words. Ah, okay. She didn't write. Yes. She didn't write complete words. What was she writing? What did you see, Sulma? Um, for example, Contractions. Correct. She used contractions. That's right. She used contractions and then the email was totally informal. So then at the end, at the end, do her colleagues help her solve the problem? Co-workers, do the co-workers help her? Yes. Yes, right? Correct, correct. So they were trying, they were trying to tell her what to do, right? Hey, I, you should do this, you have to do this. So now let's watch the video one more time. 
And now you have to order the events. Look, we have some sentences here. And what you have to do is order from one to six. Can you help me please, um, Eunice, to read the sentences right now, please? Okay, she is on the phone. Mm -hmm. You sent an email and copied me. It's important to stay professional. Present your message mm -hmm. to line. Can you want um, 300. Three, 300? 300. That is the only style for an email to a client. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so here we have six different sentences, but they are in disorder. So let's watch the video one more time. Let's watch it and you tell me what's the correct order. What is the expression number one? What is the sentence number two? Let's watch the video. Wait, wait. Hello, Anna's just arrived at her desk to start the day at Tip Top Trading. Paul's walking towards her, eating a biscuit. He looks a bit bothered. Anna? Yes, Paul? Come and have a biscuit in my office. Now, Anna, about Mr Lime. I didn't say yes. Pardon? Yes to what? Oh, nothing. You sent him an email yesterday and copied me in. Yes. Your email reads, boxes OK, PLSCDUC firm WNT 300 TAR. Yes. Please could you confirm you want 300? Right. Now, that's not really the best way of writing an email to a client, is it? Oh. Please could you resend your message to Mr Lyme? using actual words that make sense? OK. Thank you. Now, oh, here, have a chocolate crunchy. Thanks. Morning, Anna. Hello. Let me guess. Paul just spoke to you about your email. How do you know? You copied me in, remember? I just read it, or tried to. But what's the problem? Other people write like that? No. Maybe some people write text messages like that in an SMS message on their phones, but that is completely the wrong style for an email to a client. OK, Anna, let's stop listening to Tom. He's a waste of space. These are the kinds of phrases you need in a business-related email. Dear Mr Lime, I hope you're well. I'm writing regarding... Please could you confirm, yours sincerely, or best wishes. Thank you. I'll rewrite my message. There, I'd better get it checked before I send. Denise? Yes, the other problem with Stephanie is that her legs are just too long. Oh, she's on the phone. Yes, like trees. I'll have to ask Tom. Tom? Hmm? Could you read this through before I send it? Uh, hang on, Anna. Just let me finish this sentence. It's really important. Right, I'm ready. Let's have a look. OK. Dear Mr Lime, I hope you are well. I'm writing regarding your request for luxury boxes for the Imperial Lemon Delivery. We will indeed be able to supply them. Please could you confirm that you want 300. Best wishes, Anna. Well? It's good. It's much better. Send it. Hopefully Mr Lyme will think your last message was just someone sitting on your keyboard by mistake. Thanks. Uh, you're not... What? Well, it's nothing. No, it's none of my business. What? Well, you're, you're not ever going to go to lunch with Mr Lyme, are you, Anna? I mean, in a non-business way. No, of course not. I, I mean, it's... I don't care. Uh, it's just important to stay professional. Yes. <laughs> Well, I had a feeling Anna's email was going to cause problems. At least she won't make a mistake like that again. 
Here's a reminder of the phrases she used in her new improved email. Dear Mr. Lime, I hope you are well. I am writing regarding. Please could you confirm? Best wishes. Until next time, bye. Okay, let's take a look at the presentation again. So, which is number one? Which is the first event or expression? Which one, which one? According to the video, right? According to the video. Which is the first expression that you heard? Number two, you send an email and copy me. Okay, that's right. Very good, Solma. Good, good. What about the second one? Which is the expression? The second sentence. Present. Please, can you confirm you want 300? Okay, let's see. Very good. That's right. Can you confirm? Very good. Number three, which is expression? That is the wrong style for an email to a client. Let's see. Mm -hmm. it, oh. was, <laughs> it was another one. It was another one, but that's fine. Look at number three. Resend your message to Mr. Lime. Number three. Number four. What about number four? She's on the phone. It's important to stay professional. So it's important to. It's important to stay professional. Okay, let's see. Mm. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. Hi. I'm, I'm having issues with my internet. Sorry. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second, please. Me traes el chocolate. No, no joda a Luli. ¿En qué trajiste? Todos oh, queremos chocolate también. Sorry. <laughs> chocolate. Hello, hello. Hoy sí me escuchan Casi bien. Casi le pega. Hi. Yes. Yes, teacher. Hello. Okay, okay. Yes. Hello. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be connected in my cell phone too because I don't know what's going on. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we were talking about what happened in the video. We were talking about the different events in the video. So we were in number number four. That is the wrong style for an email to a client. Number five. What is number five? She's on the phone or it's important to stay professional? She's on the phone. She's on the phone. She's on the phone. She's on the phone. That's right. That's number five. So that means that number six is... It's important. It's important. It's important, it's important, to, stay it's important to, stay to stay professional. That's right. So you see, over here we have some expressions that they mention in this video. The expressions are, can you help us, Fran, to read this, the expression? Uh, dear Mr. Lyme, the, I hope you, you are well. I hope you are well. Okay, number three is... I'm, I'm ready, 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 Martin. Martin, correct. Number four. Please, Please call your, your confirm. confirm. You 
confirm. Uh -huh. And the last one. Best, best, wishes. best wishes. Best wishes. Okay. So here you have some expressions that you can use when you're writing an email. We are going to watch another video. And this girl over here, the one that you see in the photo, she's going to talk about some other expressions that we can use when we are uh, sending an email or when we get an email. So let's watch some other expressions. Let's pay attention. And if you can, take notes of the expressions because these ones are a little bit different from the ones we just watched. So let's watch what she has for, for us in regards to emails. Wait, wait. Hi, my name is Emma and today we are going to look at some very useful email expressions. So we're going to look at five in total and these uh, Wait, wait. Uh, email expressions can be used in formal email writing. So I've had a lot of students in the past tell me that they spend hours writing very simple short emails. These expressions will help you to um, improve your email writing and to write emails a lot quicker. So let's get started. Okay, so our first expression, very common, please find attached. Okay, please find attached. So what do I mean by attached? So in this case, attached is a verb, but an attachment, which is the same thing but in the noun form, is an added computer file. So it's a computer file we add to an email. So what are some examples of attachments? Well, please find attached my resume. This may be an added computer file. Please find attached photos from the conference. So it's a very simple phrase. It's very polite. Notice we have please. Please find attached. And then you just fill in the blank with the computer file you're adding to the email. Okay, so that's our first expression. Now let's look at our second expression. I've forwarded blank to you. Or alternatively, we can also say, I'm forwarding something to you. So first of all, what do I mean by forward? Okay, well, a forward, um, forwarding is a verb, but it can also be a noun, as in forward. So a forward is when you get an email and you decide you want to resend the email to someone else. So you forward it to, get to them. So again, it's when you want to resend an email and you send it to a different email address. So that's a forward. So what can I forward? Well, we've used resume already. We can use it again. I forwarded uh, maybe you're forwarding someone else's resume. Let's say, Bill's resume to you. I'm forwarding John's email. Maybe there was a good email he sent, so you want to forward it to someone else, to you. So that covers forwarding. Okay, now let's look at some more expressions. Okay, so expression number three. I've cc'd, cc'd, or copied, and then you write the name of the person on this email. So what does this mean? 
Well, sometimes maybe you've written an email to someone, but you want someone else to see what you've written. So the email isn't directed to this person. You just want them to know what's going on. So you might CC them or copy them. Okay, so there are three different ways to write this. Um, remember, in business writing uh, and informal writing for emails, we really want emails to be short and to the point. We want them to be concise. So that's why you may see CC'd, not as a word, but just um, with an apostrophe D, meaning in the, the past participle, CC'd or copied. All of these are correct to use. So I could say I've CC'd Umer on this email, meaning the email goes to someone, but Omar can also see the email too. So the email isn't directed to Omar, he can just see it too. So why might we CC someone? Well, to keep a person, so someone, in the loop. So this is another common expression you may hear. When you keep someone in the loop, it means you want them to know what is going on, so you keep them in the loop, meaning now they know what is happening. Okay? Expression number four. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. So first of all, what does hesitate mean? This might be a word you don't know. It means to wait. So this can also sound like, if you have any questions, please don't wait to contact me. Hesitate is, of course, more formal, um, and it, it, it's the one that is commonly used. Uh, so this is a great way to actually end an email. Towards the end, before you say sincerely or kind regards, Vanessa or Emma or Omar or John, uh, this is a good thing to write before the very end of the email. So here's the fifth expression. I look forward to, and then we have different options. So before I get to those options, I look forward to. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means this is what you want the other person to do, and you're saying it in a polite way. So I look forward to hearing from you. You want the other person to contact you. I look forward to hearing from you. And notice we use verb in the ing form. Another thing we could say, I look forward to meeting you. Okay, so this is the action that's going to happen next. And I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. I could also, instead of using a verb ing, there, there are so many different variations of this, I could say, I look forward to your reply, meaning I'm waiting for your reply. I'm excited to get your reply, although it's not that strong. Okay, so this again usually comes towards the end of the email, and it's just telling the person what action you're waiting for. Okay, and now how do we sign off on the email after that? Well, there are many ways to sign off on an email. A common way is kind regards, or just regards. So I could say kind regards, and underneath that write Emma. Regards, underneath Emma. Warm wishes, yours truly. Again, these are just some suggestions. There are many different ways you can um, end an email and write your name underneath, okay? So I look forward to reading your comments and hearing about your opinions. And so until next time, well, before until next time, actually, um, you can also practice these expressions on our website, www.ingvid.com. We have a quiz there where you can practice this vocabulary and make sure that you um, understand it to the fullest. So until next time, take care.
Sorry, teacher, I can't hear you. Oh, yes, yes, my microphone. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. I was telling you that she mentioned five different expressions, right? She mentioned five different sentences that you can use when you're writing an email. So the expression number one is, Cesarina, can you help us please with number one? The expression yes. number one? Please find attached the file, the photos, the report. You ask me to send. You ask me to yeah. send. You ask, you ask me to send. Yes. You ask me to send. Good, good, good. So please find attached, right? Then after the word attached, you are going to write what you have for that person. Is that a file? Is that a Word document? Is that a letter, photos, a report? What? What is that extra information that we have in the email? So you can write this over there. Please find attached and then you write the name of that thing that you have extra, right? The next expression is, I have forwarded. Look, or I'm forwarding to you. What is this? This means resend an email okay it's like i got an email from fram for example i got an email from fram and i'm like this is important i need to send this information to rebecca rebecca needs to know about this so i received the email from fram but now i am going to forward the email to rebecca i'm going to send rebecca the same email so we both know what's happening. That's why I forwarded or I'm forwarding means to resend an email. The next expression is I copied. I have copied or there are some expressions or contractions. Look, CZ, CZ, our boss on this email. What is that? Well, that means that your boss is going to see the information too. Not only Cesarina and I, but also the big boss is watching He's watching what we are doing, right? So I'm talking, I'm talking to Cesarina, she's talking to me, we are sending emails each other, but the big boss knows what's happening. He's not going to say anything, but he knows what's going on. Then the next one, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. This is almost at the end, almost at the end of the email. If you have questions, don't wait to contact me, call me, send me an email, send me a message, but say something, right? If you have any questions, you can use this expression almost at the end. And the last one is, I look forward to hearing from you. Look, if you use this expression, in other words, you're saying, I hope to know about you soon. I hope to know your answer. I hope to hear from you or about uh, to, to hear about you soon, right? So that's what it that's what it means forward. I look forward in this context, right? Because we have forwarded here again, but this one is another meaning. In this case, in the second expression, to forward means to resend an email. But in the last expression, I look forward to hearing from you. In this case, it means I'm waiting. I want to know about you or I want to hear about you soon. And if you use forward, you are going to use the verb in ing. Look, I look forward to hearing, to reading, to meeting you. She mentioned that. To practice this information or yeah, to practice these expressions, I'm going to share with you this Teacher, sorry. I'm going I'm going to share with you this website. Yes, Cesarina. Yes, I have a question. Tell uh, me, tell me. One time I received an email mm -hmm. and the other person uh, tell um, mail me some document and I don't know is that, that expression is correct. You can say that too, that made me uh, your resume, for example. 
make me or send me? No, mail me. The, like mail, the email. Oh, wait, wait. You're saying... Wait, wait, let me see. Yeah, as a verb, like this. Yes. Mail yes. me. Excellent. Yes, that's, that's okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah. but what is, is the... I, I understand that attach is more formal. If you oh. say mail. Ah, attach. Mm, well, it is not like formal or informal. They are just expressions. There are many, many expressions okay. you can use in regards to emails. Yep. This is one option or one suggestion, let's say. But okay. if, you, if you say mail me, that's fine too, because mail is used as a verb here. Okay. So yeah. However, however, if you say attached, I immediately understand that I have to include my resume or any document in the email, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. But it's okay if you say mail me or attach. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so let me share with you this exercise or the website and please here in the website, I want you to go to where it says quick. Look, we have the option here. You click here and you will have some questions. Let me share this in the chat, okay? Please everybody take a look at the chat and open the link. They open the link. Open the link, please. Right now, we are going to work individually. We're going to work individually in this moment. Open the link or click on the link. And over here in the link, you are going to click on quiz. The option that says quiz. So, I'm going to give you some minutes right now. I'm gonna give you five minutes. Complete the exercise, choose the correct answers, and when you finish, write finish here in the chat, please. Write finish here in the chat of Zoom. Complete the exercise. Isn't the link in, in WhatsApp? No, here in the chat of Zoom. Oh, okay. Thank here you. In the chat of Zoom. Okay.
Okay, some students already finished. Good, good. Can you please do me a favor, Fran? Can you write your complete name in the chat, please? Fran. Please, please. Also. Okay, so let's take a look at the exercise. Help me guys, help me to complete this exercise. Number one, I look forward, what is the correct answer? Tell me, tell me, everybody is mute right now. They're hearing to you. To hear in front. To hear to you. To hear to you. To you. That's right. To hear in from you. Okay, next. Look at this one. I look forward to meet you. Is the sentence correct? Yes or no? No. 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 Why not? The correct is I look forward to meeting you. That's right. We need to use the ING, right? So the answer is not correct. Next. Help me, please. Um, help me, help me. Tulma, to read this one. And I am forward. John responds mm -hmm. to you. To you. Okay. Good, good. The next one, Mauricio, Jose Mauricio, help me. What is an attachment? Uh, an attachment is a computer file that is added, added to an email. Yes, added is the correct answer. Added. Yes. Okay, that is an attachment, good, good. Rosa, look at the next one. Read it, please. Uh, what is a forward mm -hmm. is an email that is addressed to a different address. Yes, okay, very good. Robert, what is the next one? Hello, Robert. You hear? Okay, let me ask somebody else. If any, you have... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Jamie, go ahead. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate, hesitate me. Don't hesitate. Hesitate me. Hesitate to contact me. Don't hesitate to contact me. Contact me. Hello? This one. Yes, good, good. Don't hesitate. This is the correct one. Yeah. Don't hesitate to contact me. Yes. Yes, yes. Don't hesitate to contact me. Hesitate means don't wait. Or hesitate means doubt. Like when you say doubt. No do this, right? Don't hesitate. The next one. Francisco Morales. Help me, please. What mean on this email? Mm -hmm. What mean will us receive the email? Even though it is no addressed to him. Correct, correct. That's right. Even though it is not addressed to him. Addressed. Addressed is used, or address in this case means that the person who will receive the email directly. Like for example, this email is addressed to Frida. It is directly for Frida, right? When I say addressed. And then if I say I copied to Francisco, Francisco is going to watch the email, but he's going to read the email, but this is not for Francisco. It's for, it's for Frida. It, it is addressed to her. Okay, the next one. Eric, help me, please. 
he regards, regards, God regards, and sin, sincerely. What do you say, sincerely? Sincerely. Sincerely. Uh -huh. Sincerely. Are all common ways to an uh, email? No. No, okay. That's right. This is the correct answer. Pronunciation, Eric? Kind. Kind regard. Kind regard. Yes, yes. Kind regard. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Frida, can you help me with the next one, please? Frida, hello, Frida, hello, Frida. No, wait. You are not mute, but I don't hear you. Unmute now? She's mute. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. No, yes. Please examine, attachment, attach, attach, attach my resume. My resume. Fine. The word is please. Fine. What is the correct fine. word? Forward, find, examine, find. Yes, yes, yes. Please find attached. And the last one, Frank, can you help us with the last one? I look up forward to hearing for you. Always please, 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 and please. begin an email. Mm -hmm. At the beginning. At the beginning of email. The beginning, when you start the email. You can find this expression when you start the email or at the end. Yes. Beginning, beginning means when you start. So I look forward to hearing from you. Is always at the beginning of the email? No. No, right? Exactly. The answer is no. Let's see, let's see the answers. Let's see if we got the answers. Yay, we got a hundred. Look, good, good, good. So these are some expressions that we can use when we're talking about emails, right? So to continue with the practice, because there are many expressions, we're going to work in groups now on this mm -hmm. website, the British Council website. Over here, it says sending and receiving emails. We have over here some extra activities to practice information about emails. We have an example over here, sending an email, reply, reply to all, forward, delete, from Samir to the sales team, CC, Kaden, Travelty, Patricia Bartlett. Subject, meeting next week, attachment, and there is a document attached. Look at the email. Can you help me, Rebecca, to read the email? Can you help me to read read this? Hello, sales team. Hello, sales team. I see got idea for this week. See the attached. I like to hear what do you think about my subject. I think a uh, hatted a Patricia may be in terms. So I I bit copied the issue. Let's start more on the meeting next week. You gotta say me. Yay! Thank you, thank you. The pronunciation, Rebecca, attached. Attach. Suggestion. Suggesting. Suggestion. You suggest. Suggesting. Su suggestion. Suggesting. 
Yeah, suggestion. Like, oh, suggestion. Suggesting. Yeah. Interested. In? Interested. Interested. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is an example of an email. Look, what do you have to do? Complete the tasks, the different tasks that we have here. Task number one. You have some words over here. You have to choose the correct word and put it in the correct sentence. Choose the word, put it in the correct sentence. Okay? So I'm going to share this website with you in the chat. And you're going to work in groups. Please, everybody, open the link. Click on the link in the chat. You can share the screen in groups. And you're going to work for 10 minutes. It is 9.30. At 9.40, I'm going to finish the, 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 the meetings, okay? Let's work in groups now. Okay, join, please. Join the groups. Francisco, Francisco Morales. Wait, wait, Francisco. Don't go, don't go. Lo voy a enviar a otro grupo, Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry, I'm going to lose the connection again. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. So you don't have a group now, right? Yes. Let me see, I'm going to send you to one group. Okay, there you have the invitation. Your mouse. Your mouse. Uh, open. Open. The second. Uh, open in the second. With your email, you can include. Uh, a link. Like a photo or document. Uh, 
want if you do not want to keep an image you can you can delete you can delete you know? delete you can include uh, uh, cc cc website uh, mm. or attach mm. the set is if you are seeing this somewhere you can cuando cuando puedes incluir attach attachment uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay let's see something over here you can you have number five and number three right include so include with your email, you can include an, like a photo or document. Is that a link or an attachment? Attachment. Attachment. Exactly. Attachment. That is number three. Uh -huh. A link. You a can link. include a ah, link. You can fly in light. Exactly. You can, in you can include a link because it says website. Okay. Website. Uh -huh. If you are sending someone an email and you want your manager to see is a word you can more people no 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 you can hmm? cc what is the meaning of cc con copia copy exactly con copia mm -hmm. copy as well you can see your manager you're sending and you want your manager okay good click on finish oh yay oh. <laughs> you got it you got it <laughs> great now you are going to see some examples of emails in exercise number two task number two go to task number two, task number two. Mm -hmm. you have some examples of emails and you have to choose the word that goes in the space. Hello, Sanjay. Could you please send the What is schedule? Schedule? Okay. It's like, like an agenda. Okay. Send the agenda to schedule. Mr. Aziz at this call. Mm -hmm. Thank Thank you. Please send me to that. Send me. Send me. Send. Wait, 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 wait. You already have sent at the beginning. Look, could you please send the schedule to Mr. Asif when it is ready? Please, so that I know, so that I have the document as well. Who is going to receive the email? Who is? Who is going to receive the email directly? Me or Mr. Aziz? Mr. Aziz. Exactly, Mr. Aziz. So, I am going to get a copy. copy. Yes, I'm going to get a copy. Mm-hmm. So that so that means de esa forma o así. So that eso significa so that so that I have the document. Okay. okay. De esa forma, así. A touch uh. <laughs> <laughs> easy. Okay. Now it's easy, right? Now it's yeah, easy. Fine. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes.
send or open no sí. creo que send porque di Hey, you got a hundred. Good, good. Okay. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Just number three and we finish, okay? Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Could you consider the email about reading it and answer the question about it? Who is the email? email. In this exercise, it where do you click? Imagine that forward, reply, delete, reply to all in new proposal are the buttons. So which one, where, where do you click if you want to open the attachment? Where do you click? In new proposal. That's awesome. right. Mm -hmm. okay. Good, good. Write only to Samir. Mm -hmm. um, sería reply. Correct. Mm -hmm. Reply to all. Reply. Reply to all would be like not only to Samir, but many people. Mm -hmm. Uh, put the email in the room. What mm -hmm. means rubbish? Yeah. It means garbage. Yeah. Um, okay. Delete. In this case, the documents you don't use anymore, right? So, yeah, delete. Mm -hmm. uh, send the email to other person who has not received um, Forward. Forward. And send an email to send it to send it. Yeah, okay. Reply to all. Reply to all. That's right. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, very good. Good, good, good. You finished, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. yes okay, guys, you can go back to the main group. You just click on salir de la sala or leave the room, okay? Okay. Fernando, what is your last name? De Paz. Oh, Fernando De Paz, okay. You were not here yesterday. No. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, guys, so you work on the exercise, right? You work on the exercise, this one. So tell me, number one, you can an email to one or more people. What is the correct answer? It is not attachment, of course, right? What is the correct one? Send. You can send, okay, very good. What about number two, Fernando de Paz, can you tell me number two? Oh, pen. Pen. Oh. you can read it. Or anyone, any volunteer. Number two. Open. 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 Okay, open. you must open it before you can read it. 
When you get an email, you must open it. Okay, number three. With your email, you can include an? Attachment. attachment. That's right. And you know that it's an attachment because it says like a photo or document, right? Number four. What is number four? Francisco, can you help Francisco Castillo? Can you help me to read the complete sentence? If you not want to keep all email, you can. You did it. You can delete it. Delete it. Exactly. Delete it. Very good. Delete the email. Robert, number five. You can include a link to a website in your email. That's right. Carlos, what about number six? Uh, number six. Sorry. If you are sending someone an email and you want your man manager to see it as well, mm -hmm. you can CC. Yes. <laughs> your manager. Correct. Your manager. Yes, yes. You can say CC if you remember in the video. In in this video of the girl, the useful expressions, she said that you can say cc or just cc to say copy okay so i'm just going to check this exercise i know i'm pretty sure that you got a hundred in each exercise so these are some expressions that we can use when we're talking about emails do you have any question about this vocabulary or it's clear it's clear are the expressions are clear. Amazing. Uh-huh. Oh, question. What it means CC? CC. Okay. CC is a contraction of oh. copy. Just a copy. Yep. Copy. Like, oh. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Copy. Like this. But this is a contraction. CC. Okay. Or you can have CC. You can also have CC like this. Okay, thank you. All right, all right. You're welcome. So in this email, we have an example how how a document is CC when you have this double C. It means that you have copied this email to someone else, right? All right. So now to continue, now we finish with the information about emails. We finish with vocabulary about emails. Let's take a look at something else that we have in here. We have in the book, in the manual, in the first part, a review of, I'm going to omit this right now because I want to go to this part, simple present review, okay? If you remember guys, and this is for everybody as well, the ones who are new in the group in module number two. Uh, module number one was basically about the simple present. All the units were about simple present. So we talk about questions, we talk about affirmative sentences, negative sentences, using the simple present. That was the grammar in the whole, the whole uh, model. So we have a review right now. When do you use the simple present? Cesarina, can you help me with the first use? It is used to talk about routines. I go to work at 6 a.m. We have class every, uh, I can hear. Every that. day? Uh, every day. She goes to the gym on, on Wednesday and Thursday. Yes, thank you so much. So that is one use for the simple present tense, right? To mention those routines that you have, to talk about your daily activities. But look at the other one. We have more uses for the simple present. Can you help me please, Eunice, to read this, the second use? To talk about future plans. I have a meeting next week. My vacation are in December. Thank you, thank you. We are talking about future plans, look. So I can use the simple present to talk about the future. What do you need? 
you just need the time expression in the future, which in this case is next week in the first example and in the second example in December, right? So you can use a simple present to talk about those plans. And the next one, Francisco Castillo, can you help me please? To tell a general information or chart. It's rain in winter season in El Salvador. Yes, thank you. General information or truth, right? Normally, okay, on, 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 um, in this season, normally it rains in the winter, right? So that's why we can use the simple present to talk about general information. All of these examples are in the affirmative form, positive sentences, right? I go to work, she goes to the gym, we have classes, I have a meeting. What about the negatives? Eric, can you help me to read these examples in the negative form? Eric, Eric? Sorry. Uh, be careful. I don't live in Japan. Mm -hmm. I don't live in Japan. Continue, continue. Affirmative. Uh -huh. Affirmative. She has a cat. cat. Negative. She doesn't have. A cat. Negative, she doesn't have a cat. That's right. Yes. Thank you, Eric. Look at the contractions. Don't is the contraction for do not. Not. And doesn't is the contraction for does not. Right? But now, it is not correct to say, as you can see in this example, it is not correct to say... I no work, teacher. I no work. No, this is not correct. What is the correct sentence? I, I, don't, I, don't. Don't. I don't. I don't. I don't work. No, I no work. Right? Yo no trabajar, teacher. I no work. Right? No so, <laughs> or if you want to say something about Rebecca, Rebecca no study. Mm, no, that's not correct. What's the correct yes. sentence? <laughs> hey, listen, Rebecca. Listen, Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca, <laughs> what is the correct sentence? Doesn't. 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 Exactly. Rebecca doesn't study. Or I'm saying Rebecca no estudiar, right? No, that is not correct. That is not correct. So Rebecca doesn't study. Now, we have this example of has and have because we have the verbs have and has right and what is the difference you are going to use have when the subject is i you we and they mm -hmm. if you have this subject you can say i have you have we have they have mm -hmm. and then we have the verb has you are going to use has when the subject is he, she, she, she mm -hmm. or it. it. So you can say she has, he has, or it has. But this is in the affirmative sentences, right? But then we have negatives. So affirmative sentence, I have a car. Negative sentence, I don't have a car. But what happens if I say he has a car? This is the affirmative sentence, he has a car. But what is the negative? Negative is it doesn't, 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 doesn't have a car. So the verb changes. In the affirmative sentence, you use has, but in the negative sentence, you use have. Okay? Because of this auxiliary, doesn't. Because of this, now you're going to use the verb in the base form. That's why you can observe over here that we have this example. She doesn't has is not correct. The correct sentence is she doesn't have. So you don't use has anymore in the negative sentence. Is it clear the negative statements in a simple present? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Perfect, perfect. What happens with questions? Beautiful questions in English. 
How do you make questions, Francisco? Can you help me to read this information, please? Me? Francisco Morales. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we have two Francisco. We are two. True. Yes. How but you, you are Fran. Give me a second, Francisco. You are Fran. <laughs> and Francisco. <laughs> okay. How do you make question about routine? W H do does subject bear. Where do you like to go on vacation? What kind of music do you listen to? When do you do have meeting? Who do you like to work with? Good, good. Just one word, Francisco. What kind? Kind. Kind of music. Mm -hmm. Kind of music. The pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Kind. Kind of music. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So this is the structure, right? WH, auxiliary, subject, and verb. This is how you make questions um, using the simple present form, right? We are going to work a little bit on this. We're going to practice this tomorrow. We're going to work on this activity tomorrow. You're going to select some activities. You're going to create questions and you're going to ask your partners. We're going to do this tomorrow because it's almost time to finish the class. So just let me take the attendance for today's class. So please everybody, cameras on. Cameras on please and microphones too to check the attendance. Say present, please, Carlos Alexander Aquino. Present. present. Eric Rosendo Quinteros. Present, teacher. Yay. Eunice Mejia. Present. Francisco Armando Morales. Present, teacher. Yes. Francisco Jose Castillo. Present, teacher. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Irene Isabel Villeda. Present teacher. Irene. Where are you? Lo siento, tengo problemas con la cámara. Oh, ok, ok. Tengo que resolver. Ok, no problem, Isabel, no problem, no problem. It's ok, it's ok. Eh, Thanks, José teacher. José Fernando de Paz. You're welcome. Present teacher. Thank you. José Mauricio Cardoso. Present here. Kevin Roberto Funes. Moisés Eduardo Guzmán. Pedro Antonio Tobar. Rebeca Guadalupe Cabrera. Roberto Alejandro Melara. Robert Robert. Rosa Luz Castellanos. Present. Thank you. Ruth Cesarina. Present. Present. Stephanie Lisset Quijada. Present. Jamilet. Present. And Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. We are going to finish today's class. It was a pleasure. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you. Good night. Present. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher, hello. Yes, yes. Hello, hello. Hey, Teacher, Robert. Tell me. And yesterday, mm -hmm. did you 